Spend some money, but you finna hop in. Smoke me, ball like Bin Laden. Wise one. Woman. Prophet. Rest in your power. Knowledge. This next song is called Tuning. That was a joke. Oh, I thought it was actually called Tuning. Bro, I, you know I'm bad with you. Tune In would be a cool name for a song. And I thought you were telling a joke earlier with the... I kind of was. Okay, because I was like, damn, how do I make, think that I was I kind of was. Okay. You have a comedian. <laughs> I kind of see what people, how people <laughs> react. And if they don't quite react, that's what's funny to me. Okay, I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's almost like it's not about you laughing, it's about me. It's about you laughing, you're your own comedian. That's, that's important. That's some Dave Chappelle shit. Yeah, and he's like the best, so if he's you ask amazing. me. He's amazing. No, he is. Okay. No, he is. Yeah. He's something about how his brain works. Yeah, it's like... No, I can't even get on that level.
feeling cold yeah it's cold as shit outside Ooh. but you know we, we got the sunset so uh it's all good <coughs> it is all good she bloom in the building um all those songs they're off your new project coming out yeah um oh, not the sun not the sun i'm gonna hold it i'm gonna hold the sun okay yeah <laughs> Um, the first one I played is a rendition of a song called Wise Woman that's on the EP. The last one I played, Go Ghost, is also on the new EP out February. And the one I played in the middle has um, been out for a couple years. It's not available right now on streaming, but it's been out. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And what's the name of the new project? Nowhere. Now, now here. here. That's that one? I saw that title and actually heard that phrase in a video. I watch like spiritual videos and stuff. So somebody like used that phrase, like literally like last night. I'm not gonna say it was, but I was like, whoa, that's, that's weird. Tight. Yeah, it is. So what do you, what do you, cause I like the phrase. What do you, what do you think it, what does it mean to you? Nowhere and now here. I think it's a good reflection of me coming to terms with what this year was. Um, it felt like I was up in the air in between clouds floating not knowing like what the fuck is going on and um, having to find security within myself and knowing that I am the root so I have to ground myself and give myself security right so it's kind of just coming to terms with like whether it's a shitty relationship or the economy's crashing or you're in the middle of a pandemic or all the above you're literally nowhere all the time. We're floating in space as we speak, but at the same time, we are also here right now. So what are we gonna do with that knowledge? You know, right. so. 
make music. Exactly. <laughs> and like just come to terms with things, you know? Right. Yeah, I mean, this is taking notes. You said a lot of stuff that relates to a lot of people. Like, this is a tough year for a lot of people for a lot of reasons. Um, do you feel like, because this is kind of, do you feel like the paint, like the, the toughness helps music? I've, I've had this conversation with artists where it's like, it's like this kind of, I know, and it, I always get that face. It's like, ah, but it's like, I, I have to ask, like, do you think it, you know, like repeat, what's the relationship? Repeat the question. Like between like hard times and like the music. Like, do you feel like the music is better or something? Or it's right. like more of like an <laughs> attachment to it? It's like, oh, <laughs> like y'all might not like this one more, but like I know what I was going through and I made this, so it's like. Yeah, I think um, some of my easiest songs to write were running to the microphone after feeling really triggered by something that happened and needing to release that energy because I don't know else how. Um, so I think the hard, hard times definitely um, inspire really good lyrical content because it's honest and real in that moment. It's harder to write a sad song when you're when you're not sad, right? right. So, but um, I'm not gonna lie, I've written some really good songs too where I was in a great headspace. Okay. So I would say I'm 50-50 personally, but I know a ton of people who would say like 80-20. Right. That's good. I feel like balance is ideal. You don't want to, because you don't want to necessarily be in a space where you like always are attracting negative things because you think it's like good art, you know, like exactly. necessary. So I don't, yeah. It's about your perspective. <clears throat> Definitely. <laughs> always. Always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay, so you're 50-50. So um, let's talk about, because, like, it was hard stuff, but, like, other than the music, like, what what did you gain from the hard stuff? Or maybe not even from the hard stuff. Like, what like what was good about this year? Like, because it wasn't all bad. So many things. No, yeah, yeah. like, everything. Yeah. Um, I manifested very specific things that Ooh. I had asked for. Okay. I met someone very special to me just recently, and I birthed this project, and all of those things, like, are just, they breathe life into me, right. and, like, got me through this year. Okay. Um, there's so many other things that have happened, great things, like, this year was a blessing. I've, got, I've gotten really close to a lot of different artists, and, uh... I've had time to get better at my craft, engineering, right. um, not just songwriting, like just recording myself faster and faster and learning new gear. I got some new gear that I invested in. I have created a studio in my house. Okay. Like, okay. you know, as soon as the pandemic hit, yeah. I was like, oh, like the universe told me to and I really didn't want to. Like for a couple weeks, I was like sleeping on it. But then I decided to take out my, my entire walk-in closet and make a studio. I, I think I killed this. I'm sorry. No, you're good. It's super cool. It's, oh, wait. It's still going. Wow. That's amazing. <clears throat> but, yeah. That's that's dope. It is. I had to make my own studio, too. It's a... Um, yeah. I feel like... I feel like every artist should have some in their own space. Maybe not, like, a place where you, like, make official music, but, like, definitely somewhere where you can just go get stuff out instantly on your own. I feel like that's... Oh, it's Definitely. necessary. Yeah. Very necessary. It's an investment, but it's a good one. It's worth it. If you're serious, you'll make it. You talked about manifesting somebody specific this year. Mm-hmm. Is that like, <laughs> do you want to like go into, like how, like how did you? I love these colors, by the way. Thank you. Fresh. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know, but um kind of threw me off track. I forgot what I was asking you. <laughs> <laughs> it matches your, your eyeliner a little bit. A little bit. That's we'll tough. have to That's take a, a, a we'll deeper, take a photo later a cool together. Photo we have sure. to. Definitely, definitely. Uh, same bloom. Same bloom. Same bloom. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> but no, you're not gonna side me. Uh <laughs> what did you uh like like in terms of manifesting like what are your what are your approaches? What do you being specific is one, obviously. Writing it down. 
um, finding quiet, alone time away from outside opinions mm. and perspectives. Mm. Okay. Because how are we going to know what our, our truth is if there's like 10 voices around all the time? Even if it's a good homie, even if it's your mom. Um, also, the frequency that you carry yourself at. Are you being more light hearted and opened in receiving mode, in faith mode, or are you doubting and complaining and stressing? I know both very well, so mm. I'm not here to be like I don't do I don't do yeah the negative, but I feel like bringing things into creation, you really got to believe before you see. Like really, and you can't psych yourself out. Like if you're not ready for it, I this is my opinion. If you're not ready for it, it, it that's why it's not there. Wow! Wow! I asked, wow, that was like the perfect, I want to like keep that sound bite. That was, <laughs> if you're not ready, the whole thing, but especially at the end, if you're not ready for it, I think, yeah, we have a trouble really swallowing that, like knowing how we were truly, because we asked for stuff and it's so far away, we can't really fathom it. And then when like, it becomes possible it's like all right you gotta kind of ask yourself again like am i ready to like you said receive it like yeah that's a whole different mode right that's deep well yeah um i don't think i have any more questions for you ask me maybe like a light-hearted one. Oh, sorry i'm too deep <laughs> i don't have any deep questions yeah, I gotta don't you want to know what my favorite food is <laughs> what's your favorite don't ask me that i don't have an uh, answer i love i love this where'd you get that I got it from my granddad. He passed away uh, like a couple months ago. So like. Even that was serious. See, I didn't. I didn't... No, no, no. It's okay. Remember, um, just perspective. Yeah. Um. So I wear it a lot, and it's fresh as fuck. Super. You know, <laughs> I don't tweet anymore. I had an old Twitter a long time ago, and I tweeted one time. Old people, no offense, but like old people have like the freshest clothes. And well, it was before, like, mass manufacturing, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it was still, like, a level to that, That's like, kinda... the in industrial age, like, growing. But I feel like there was just more more quality, maybe, with some of the, the yeah. cl yeah. clothes coming up, the companies. Yeah, and thrift stores are really big now. That's, like, mainly, like, what's in there is, like, older kind of stuff. Yes, so. thrift to these pants. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Yeah. Did you thrift any of that? The shoes? Nice. Is that like, is that like, what? Yeah. Is that like, oh, some people are like, yeah, shoes. Bougie like, about it? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. I've thrifted okay. a bra before. Okay, see? There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, these are, uh, these are thrifty Tim's. Cool. Everything Fresh. else, though. Yeah. I like the purple on the. Yeah, the prayer beads. Mm -hmm. It says prayer beads. Prayer beads, yeah. Okay. Got it from my guru. You have a guru? What? <laughs> she says she doesn't want to be called that. Like she, say, tells, she, like, she tells other people, like, like I'm not your guru. Coach, or she like She's a, a spiritual teacher, author, okay. uh, light worker, awesome. chef, vegan chef. Her name's Srimati. Okay. S-R-I-M-A-T-I. -I. Check her out. Do you have an IG? Check her out. The guru, she might be the guru. <laughs> she loom. Mm. I'm saying um, it's cold as shit, so I'm gonna end it. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> we can talk more, and uh, yeah, good things on the way. I appreciate you. Yeah, Coming thanks for you. having me. All the wisdom, all the vibes, the songs, everything. Cool. Definitely. Thank You're you. the first guest that I've ever had on the podcast. So. Sweet. On the podcast, apologies. Hell yeah. So. That's, that's the podcast. Yeah. Hey, you heard it here first. I need to get it DM'd or some shit. Before I hit the stage, let me hit that dope. 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 Let me hit that dope.
Let me hit that door. Let me hit that door. Smoke. I need it. I really need it.